and welcome to the Mrs V Night Shift. I'm Mrs V and very excited today because we have the gorgeous Tess Julian here. Welcome. Thank you. Hello Mrs V. And we've been talking on the, uh, recording the podcast which I totally advise to listen to tonight because I'm very inspired about the work that she does around organisations. It's incredible. Yeah, it's fun. And it, it's needed because as I know and we all talk about and I know you hear me go on about is having that change inside of businesses is where with the individuals is where and what we need to happen. So welcome. Thank you. So firstly, let's talk about how was your day? My day was great. I loved the rain. Yes. I'm a country girl. Oh, Always yeah. welcome the rain, you know. So tell me, where, where did you grow up? I grew up in a place called Bookham, which is sort of halfway between Sydney and Melbourne on the Humour Highway, just outside of Yass. Mm. And my sister now has a cafe there, Barney's oh. at Bookham. Lovely. Stop there and have a coffee. Yeah. Oh, well, she leases it out. But I, my family is still there, you know, my brother and his family and cousins, so I go up there a lot. Oh, wow, gorgeous. And I'm always worried about it being dry. <laughs> so yes. when it rains, I go, oh, yay. It's it happy. Rains. And it's yeah. true, you forget that the dryness causes so many issues oh, for people. Absolutely. So we had a lovely, lovely day. My day was very busy. My day was very busy. But I was, um, I think I don't like the mugginess. I just, the mugginess is the thing. I don't mind the rain. But it's the muggy thing in Australia that... Um, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always quite liked the oh, yeah, humidity. Oh, yeah, you do you? Ooh, my I like hair it. doesn't like it. Well, no, my hair doesn't <laughs> like it. But I like the humidity, yeah, I love it. That's what I love going to the country because my hair would always be dead straight and I'd love it. It was always, like, dry in seconds, you know. So, um, yes, and mugginess doesn't like it. So one of the things is, uh, with Mrs V, I wanted to ask, what do you love about your job? I like the fact that I have the opportunity to go into different sorts of workplaces yes. different sorts of organisations different industries, a huge range health, manufacturing building, facilities management, mm. government banking, corporate, you know like a, and, and they all have the same problems <laughs> they have the same problems, I know someone was saying today is like they do a lot of diverse things, I don't know who it was was saying yeah, it's always the same problem that there's a human a human humanity <laughs> <laughs> the humanity. Human frailty. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I can totally problem. get that. Um, what was the biggest shift in your life? Uh, I have made quite a few geographic shifts. Went to boarding school. Yes. That was a big thing. Yes. Moved around, went to Adelaide, Italy, London, came back to Sydney. But probably the biggest shift, well, one of the biggest shifts was moving from a, a sort of a steady employment into my own business. Mm. And I did that when I became a mother. Mm. And then I think the other big shift is um, changing myself in response to what I see is happening in um, the workplace, in the contemporary workplace, and actually being able to change to keep up with. So I think that is an ongoing shift. Yes. That we, it's a challenge for everybody yeah. now. Yeah. Um, but I think that is a continuous shift as well. Yeah. And more recently, the shift from... Um, well, adding um, personal development for women to my portfolio of things that I do, which Ooh. has been a joy. I love that. Yeah, no, I like that. Yeah, that's all. I love that. Personal development. Yes. Well, I love that you've had that shift. Um, so tell me the best advice you've ever received. Well, I think... <laughs> well, no, I laugh because my sister once gave me advice that said, just buy it. If you want it, buy it, and the money will come from somewhere. <laughs> And actually, I love her. <laughs> that was the worst advice I've ever had. The best advice was probably uh, when I did shift from sort of salaried employment to a, to my own business. Was you can do it. You've got. Mm. You can do it. You can start up your own business, and um, that will give you the freedom to pursue the sort of life and career you want. Oh, great! Yeah, yeah, I you, think so. It's a, you really have to have that belief, don't yeah. you? Because you, you're the one that drives it every day. I was trying to explain to someone what that difference is when you go and work for yourself. Is it's every day you have to generate? Do you know what I mean? There's Excitement. no hiding. No, that's right. And purpose. And purpose. Purpose. I love um, that purpose. Yeah. And tell me, what's the best personal development tool to get through challenges, or what's the best tool for you? Well, you know, one of the tools I have been using, and it's an innovation tool that many companies use to mm. prototype ideas or to rethink their business, it's called the Business Model Canvas. Are you familiar Ooh, with yeah. that? It's a really good tool oh, for businesses. Yeah. But it has also been used 
for people to reframe their thinking about their career and it's called Business Model U. So I think that's a really good tool and it's available. Um, and the other one, which is one that we've developed, we call the Catalyst Chat Sheet, which is a way of thinking through ideas, which when you can have a conversation with mm, someone about mm, their ideas, mm. which is another good tool. But I, I would highly recommend for people who are rethinking their careers or rethinking their business, have a look at the variations of Business Model Canvas because it's a great tool. Oh, great, I'll put the link below. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a, it, yeah, it's, a, you can get the templates and there's heaps of information on the web about it. Gorgeous, love it. Yeah. Great advice. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Now you have uh, any animal at all that you love? Oh, Leo. You met Leo. <laughs> Where's Leo? Do we have Leo? Oh, do you want me to go and get yes, him? Yes, go and Leo. get him. We're oh. going to go and get Leo because it's very important to find out about um, the little special gift that animals have in people's homes. And uh, Leo welcomes, in fact, when we buzzed in here tonight, uh, we heard barking above. So Leo was very onto it that there were guests arriving. So she's just gone to get the dog, so we'll just have a little break here because uh, I can hear doggy coming in. Here is Leo. <laughs> this is Leo, the happiest. Oh, look at Leo. Hello. He is the happiest dog in the world. Hello, sweetie. <laughs> oh, we love Leo. And what's the favourite thing is because... He's the happiest. Yeah. He is the, the happiest dog. Oh, that's so cute. He loves people. He is, you know, in The Wizard of Oz, they're yes. doing the stage show yes. and they've got a dog for Toto and they have chosen a dog which is the same breed as Leo, oh, an Australian really terrier, is. which happens to also be the Australian breed, is it the Australian product I want to promote. But they are using a dog who looks just like Leo. Love you, you sweetie. Because they are the happiest and the most gregarious dogs. I love it. Well, he definitely looks like Toto. <laughs> Come on, Leo. You're going to have to show your face. Yeah, there we face. are. There's your, show face. your beautiful face. See, so look at that. Isn't Leo beautiful? Look at that gorgeous little doggy. He looks very much like Toto. He oh. looks asleep. I think he's still oh, sorry, asleep. Like... He sleeps like <laughs> that. He goes into a coma. Well, he can stay with us while we finish. Yeah. So tell me, what's your uh, favourite Australian made product? Well, one of the things I should say, because I've work in innovation uh, the wonderful Australian manufacturers like ResMed and Cochlear uh, the other thing is the little dog the Australian <laughs> Terrier um, what are the other things that I like that are Australian made? do you have Australian actually... fashion brands or do you have food or like Vegemite, I don't know I've had a few Vegemite lovers on the show and well, um, yeah, like Byron Bay cookies Oh yes, very good. Cookies, yes. Bye, bye. Very nice. Very um, nice. Is there anything else that I particularly pass Paley pills? Oh, oh yeah. There you are, but I don't have any myself, but I would like them. Yes, um, no, that's on the uh, vision board, that one. Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. Love that. And what's your favourite nightcap? Well, my favourite nightcap, Leo, is cognac. Cognac. And nice. it is really, I love, not every night, and not very many nights actually and not very much because it does give you a terrible hangover yes, yes. however what I've discovered about cognac is that it's really hard to find these days oh yeah. really yeah it's sort of out of fashion so if only we have to bring it back into fashion bring it back into fashion I love Absolutely. it you can get it through duty free yes uh, but if you go into a bar and ask for cognac they really actually isn't that funny I wouldn't have thought that it would be very uh, popular no. I mean I don't we don't you know, drink much I'm not drinking at the moment, but when I do, I will definitely try and find a good cognac. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. With a bit of an eye cap. Yeah. Um, so let's do a bit of affirmation card. This is um, our last um, last one, and I'd like you to shuffle and pull one. And this is for all our viewers for tonight and to have a great day tomorrow is to think about what is something that we can we need to kind of really respect and value in ourselves or something that we need to acknowledge. So... What do Go I do? Choose one. Just choose one. And what is it? I am free because <gasps> I am free because. So we all have to find a reason in our own minds about why we feel that we are free. Because maybe today you had a feeling where you didn't feel free, and this is reminding you why you are. So you find, so for me, I'm free, I feel free, and this is where I find it, is because 
I do what I love. So I have great freedom in that. That that's my freedom, and I always. So I'm reminded, and I might have had a day where things aren't going well, or deals aren't doing whatever. But for me, I go well. Actually, I'm free because I'm totally doing what I love. Yes, um, <laughs> what is that? That, that's great. I mean, I my mind goes to politics when I think of this, and oh, I think very good. Um, how grateful I am, and how lucky we as women yes. are, even though there are still all the barriers that we know about. Um, because of the women who've been before us and yeah. who fought big battles on our behalf, women and men, and how terrifying it is if that freedom is threatened by the political powers that be. Mm, um, I, that's very powerful, and I totally get that. And it's it's uh, it's a message. Actually, I had today um, a lunch with my family. We were talking about what's going on over there which is very scary you know between that's you know, right Korean and American and I just sat in this we all did we had a moment of we're so lucky here we're so lucky and, you well know. and I think um, in many ways um, our generation my generation of women has been so lucky mm. because we've been riding a wave where uh, a, a progressive wave where we have been been becoming more free yes. and not perfectly. Yes. I yes. totally acknowledge way to go. that yes. there are, are a long way to go, but we have been very, and it never occurred to me in as I was sort of developing that those freedoms would ever be curbed. And now I worry about it. Mm. So that's. Mm. And I think it's a reminder for us to appreciate what yeah. we have today. And, and be to, totally vigilant. Yes, and keeping that present in there. Fantastic insight. Thank you very much. I love that. Mm, thank so, you. So, um, good night and love and sparkle from us at uh, the night shift. And thank you so much for being a guest on the show. Thank you, Mrs. B. Loved speaking with you. Very yeah. inspiring. So, take a listen to the podcast and over and out and good night from us here. Bye.